Hello, you beautiful souls, and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk to you about stepping into your power and truly becoming a high-valued woman. So being a high-value woman is something that can sometimes take time to actually become, and it's not just about saying that that's what you are, but truly becoming and embracing the highest version of yourself. So here's the cool thing. A lot of times life can actually guide you to wanting to become the highest version of yourself through experiences that challenge you and then inspire you to becoming just that, which is exactly what happened to me. And a lot of times high valued women always portray a very specific list of traits and I want to share those traits with you so that you too can live as your best self, you can step into your power and truly become a woman of high value. I've always been very observant of the way that I've acted or reacted to certain situations. And when the reactions weren't positive, I always wanted to know why. Why did I respond that way? Why did I say such things? Why did it bother me or trigger me so much? And how do I let what's no longer serving me go to truly become the highest version of myself? Through learning more about myself, through loving myself, flaws and all, I truly understood what I could let go of because it wasn't serving me and how I could drop that and move forward from that to truly step into the queendom, queendom, with many other high valued women. Number one and the most important trait of being a high valued woman is having self confidence. A high valued woman, she knows who she is, she knows what she brings to the table, she loves who she is, and she doesn't need any sort of outside validations. So it can be really difficult in the current world that we live in to be confident because there's so many distractions and so many different opportunities to compare ourselves to other women. But once we tap into our inner confidence, once we truly are 100% authentically ourselves with no Fs given, then we are on the path to truly becoming a high valued woman. Trait number two is having high standards. Now, when I say having high standards, I don't only mean in your dating life, although we will talk about that too. I mean having high standards in life in general. When you have high standards, you know what you want and you refuse to settle for anything less. And that's in all areas of life. So that could be in your job, in your relationship, it could be in the way that you present yourself, etc. You have a bar, you set it high, and you refuse to lower it for any reason. Now when it comes to dating and relationships, a high valued woman is not afraid to walk away if the person that she's with is not meeting her standards and is not treating her in a way that she truly deserves to be treated. Here's the crazy thing about relationships. The way that you allow the other person to treat you is basically training them to treat you that way. So you have to have a standard that you're not willing to shift or adjust. And if they can't meet that standard, you just have to be okay with walking away as the true high valued woman that you are. Trait number three is having boundaries. If you wanna be a high valued woman, you must have boundaries because boundaries will help you set the tone for what you will and will not allow in your life. And not only do high valued women have boundaries, but we don't feel guilty when a new boundary has to be set because a line was crossed. So what I mean by having boundaries is you're okay with standing up for yourself in situations or even conversations that don't align with who you really are or with your core values. A really quick example of having boundaries is let's say that you're with one of your friends and this friend keeps talking badly about another friend. You can simply and elegantly say, hey, I would prefer not to talk about anyone unless they're in the same room with us and I like to keep my conversations positive. It's simple, it's straight to the point, and now that friend knows that a boundary has been set. Number four, and I don't even know if this should be called a trait, is having a high value energy, almost like an aura. When you think about all high valued women that you know or know of, we always have this captivating, beautiful energy or aura about us, right? And I truly believe that you only get this when you fall in love with yourself, when you embrace yourself and you know who you truly are. If you think about a high valued woman walking into a shopping mall or a restaurant, when you see them, it's like they have this glow to them. You want to know them. What do they do? Who are they? Who is this woman? That's what I mean by having a natural high value energy or aura that again, I don't think that you can get this until you tap in to your high valued power. 
Number five is maintaining a healthy lifestyle, both mentally and physically. So what I mean by that is working out, eating healthy, um, going to get your nails done if that makes you feel good, getting facials, having a skincare regimen, practicing self-care, yoga, whatever it is to make you feel your best. Even something like going to talk to a therapist, right? If you feel like you have something within yourself that you need to work through, a high-valued woman is not afraid to look that in the face and maintain that so that you can mentally and physically feel your best and be your best inside and out. Number six, ladies, this is so important. That is having no drama. A high valued woman does not engage in drama, whether that's at work, whether that's in a relationship, whether that's with family, even on the internet when people try to start pointless dramas, high valued woman hates drama. She's not doing it, she has no time for it. Ladies, we have to protect our energy, so be mindful and make sure that you're not engaging in and wasting your time with any pointless dramas. And last but not least, number seven is high valued women do not react. Ladies and gents, by the way, if you're watching, this one was one of the most difficult ones for me because I used to always be so quick to react, so quick to let pointless things bother me or ruin my mood or affect me emotionally. And it wasn't until I grew into the women, woman that I am today that I learned that a lot of those things didn't even deserve my reaction, right? It was pointless. So always be the calmest person in the room because calm truly is a superpower. And if something does bother you or triggers you, turn your phone off, walk away, do nothing for at least an hour and then come back to the situation. We have to get control, get in control of our emotions and make sure that we're we're not reacting to situations, we're responding cool, calm, collected, and like the high valued women that we are. And that's it. <laughs> so I hope you found this video helpful. I really wanted to make this video because when I was growing through life, I would get on YouTube often and watch videos similar to this one that would help me get closer to and understand the woman that I wanted to become, the woman that I am today. And so I hope this video can be helpful to you. If you do like this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. This is the first of many videos like this that I will be creating and I can't wait to just give my tips that I've learned through life to you to see if that can help you to become the best version of yourself. So let's continue growing one video at a time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.